been a bit busy for old Ryan, hasn't it? It's been very busy for <laughs> Ryan. I mean, he started off as a nice, normal policeman. Yeah, it's a nice he bloke. was straight, he was marrying a lovely girl, and then it all went wrong for him. Then you killed the girl, <sighs> throttled someone else, exactly. killed an uncle, killed left someone uncle. in an abandoned I classroom. I know. And, and now he's in gay. A coma. <laughs> and, and yeah, all because of his secret, his gay secret. So, for people that don't watch Holly Oaks or, or are not 100% sure on, on <clears> what's <throat> happened, because so much has happened, yeah. Yeah. go back to the beginning. So, it's your wedding night to Amy, is that right? That's correct. So, my character Ryan was getting married to um, Amy and uh, she found out that he was gay because he pocket dialed her on the wedding night when he was having a little thing with uh, a guy called Kyle. So yeah, that was all a bit bit crazy. She um, comes and for him and confronts him and uh, he has to kill her because he doesn't want anyone to know the secret. And as you do. <laughs> this one thing has turned into a complete spiral that's correct. of crime, basically. Yeah, for yeah this he has. Copper. Ev everybody that's basically tried to find out about him, he's had to silence them, <coughs> including his lovely uncle. But Tegan, who yeah. he throttled, is now coming out of that coma. That's right. So Steve does find out. Mm, he does. That's all going to be happening next week. Because in tonight's episode, I think it's on at 6.30 tonight, isn't it, on Channel 4, that's you you know, you've, you've got that sense, something's going to happen here, I'm, I'm worried now, I'm, I'm really in deep. Yeah. We need to get away. Yeah. So you try and flee to Brazil. That's right, as you do. Yeah, let's casual. Just, let's just go to Brazil. Yeah. No. It's nice, it's nice, time isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. Do you get there? Um... <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, we don't get there. We try to get there, but it doesn't quite happen because then Steve finds out the truth and obviously the holiday of the lifetime is no more. So. This may sound like a silly question, going through what we've just been through. Is he a bad boy? Or is he just battling a lot of demons? Oh, he's a lovely boy. No, but do you know, do, he, he's I a complex he character, he is. isn't he? Do you know what, Ryan, Ryan's really complex, but the fact of the matter is he's killed innocent people, so he has to be punished at some point. And yep. um, all I'm going to say is a little teaser, there will be another death. <gasps> Stop it! I know, I'm sorry. It's a bit early for that, but yeah, there will be another death. I am shook. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> another. How can this go? I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. There to will that. be another death. It's Hollyoaks. Of course, there's going to be another death. Why can't us? they just have like a village fair where everything's lovely, no. like the Vicar of Dibley? Do you I know, know what right? I mean? It's no. just never going to be it's like that. It's never going to be like it's Hollyoaks, so yeah. So a comeuppance but is coming. A comeuppance is coming. But I've got to say, we're really excited because we've just been nominated for a BAFTA. I know! Oh, so it's so such so a exciting. huge accolade for us because, you know, we're not one of the, the main big soaps out there, but, yeah. you know, we, we work really hard and we... Everybody is just amazing and, and puts 110% into it. And it's like a family up there. So for us to get nominated over some other soaps, we're just really, yeah. really Yeah, it's a really nice proud. little cherry... Yeah. Cherry on top for you. Yeah. But this sort of, the, the, the character of Ryan, and obviously the reason why this is all spiralled out of control is because of the uh, lack of confidence with the sexuality and mm. obviously that storyline coming out. Obviously you, you've been very open in the past about your battles with yeah. hiding your own sexuality. Yeah, and obviously I'll... now you're very happy. But did I that, am. your sort of real life, play into the character a little bit? Um... I wouldn't say it played into the character because I've never killed anyone no. in Ireland, but... <laughs> Just the sexuality, um, not but the death. The sexuality no. thing. Yeah, I mean, look, I was... Ten years ago, I was really frightened to come out. I was in a boy band. We, were, we had millions of fans all around the world, mainly women. And I was really frightened because I thought, I can't come out because everyone's going to hate me. And I had in my head this stupid thing that I'm going to let the boys down, I'm going to let the Rackle company down. I was worried about everything. And you just carry this weight on you, don't you, that you think, oh, my God, it's so big. But then when I came out, I realised it wasn't big at all and nobody really cared. Mm. And I was just like, what, what was I worrying about for all those years? And I yeah. think my character, Ryan, he's gone through that same thing. He's realised that actually if he'd have just been true to himself, none of this would have happened. He wouldn't have killed anybody. He would have dealt with his sexuality in the correct way and it, it, his life would have been completely different. It's, Which is what? sad, really, because it happens still out there. It really does. There are I mean, people... it's a bigger issue as well, and I wish we had more time to discuss that in, in more yeah. depth, and I'm sure yeah. we will at some point. But but, but Ryan has to get on to steps. I have to, I, I'm, I'm literally <laughs> Blue, palpitating. steps... Aqua. <laughs> so, Sara Alto as Sarah well. Sara Alto. Oh, I love they're all coming out of the... So this is the Summer of Steps tour. It's the Summer of Steps tour. It's going to be the campus thing ever and we cannot wait because we're going to be going all throughout the UK with Blue and Steps and Aqua, having a really, really good time. How so, long are you on the road for? Um, it's about six weeks. You've got to come because it's going to be stop fabulous. Stop trying to keep me away. Him. Hello. You've already booked the car. I'm like, hello. <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's going to be amazing. I know, and um, I'm going away tomorrow. It's my first time I've had a holiday in, like, 
five, six months because I've been working so much. But it's my birthday tomorrow, and I'm going so off. You're 40 tomorrow. 40 tomorrow. Big birthday. <gasps> 40 you birthday. don't look it. You don't look it. You don't look a day over 39. Thanks, Ryan. You don't. You really don't. <laughs> yeah, so 40 tomorrow, and I'm taking my mum and my daughter away. We're going on a lovely little cruise around the Caribbean on Carnival, so I'm excited, so, yeah. Lovely. Aww. Well, listen, we hope you have a brilliant birthday. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame you for going away, because it's going to be quite a busy week in Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice for you like, to take hide. a step back and just me. disappear for a while. Yeah. And have a brilliant time on tour. Yeah. Thank you. You must come. We will. Definitely. 100% you really don't <gasps> even need to tell us twice. night. We'll have a lovely night. Duncan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Thanks, guys. Thank you for me as well. I will do. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.